Welcome back to the Bay. Blow! Oh Welcome back to the God, basement. you Yard. fucking bastard. What? I'm, I'm upset with you. And I told you I wanted to start. Welcome back to the basement yard. Thanks for being here. But also, welcome back, keeping it frank. Because I'm fucking hot right now. Okay. Like, not physically. I'm actually quite comfortable. But hot in terms of... You think you're hot like as a like a look? Like you look hot? I think I actually do look hot. On a 1 to 10, where would you put yourself? Right now? Yeah. Not a lot of... Like, my I haven't, like, shaved. Uh, my hair isn't, like, you know, like, styled. I would say I'm, I'm at, like, a 6.8 right now. Okay. I think I'm a six point, but I'm. Don't try to change the subject, you son of a bitch. I, I was just asking a question. I think I'm pretty good. What do you think you are? Uh, new haircut, Joe. This is what he. Did. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think you are right now, honestly? And don't be humble. <sighs> Outside or inside? Is there a difference? Uh, when the sunlight hits me, I'm a different beast. Oh, I thought you meant like outside, like your external body versus your in inner organs. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, what's the difference? Outdoors or indoors? I meant. Uh, uh, indoors. Like on the couch or walking around? Why do I? What, what are we doing here? Why do I fucking branch it down? And it matters. I don't think it does. I look better standing up. So, you know you do. Yeah, you do. Uh, that that couch you got is very deep, so it doesn't do any wonders for angles. Mm -mm. Uh, all right, walking walking inside. A walking indoor. I would say I'm, I'm, I'm a seven point one walking indoor. Wow. You Outdoor though goes up. To what? Something. I mean, you get these freckles going. You get the the light hitting me in the in these pretty eyes. You know what? He's not wrong. You do have some. You have some like sil you basically have silver eyes. Uh, I mean they're hazel, but like the light hits them and, and like you know might look. And a then little, they turn s metal. Might, might look a little silver. Okay. Um, uh, what were you gonna say? You were gonna. Oh yeah, keep it a fright. You were gonna. Yeah, yell yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. What are you yelling at me? If for? I was fucking chewing gum, welcome, welcome back, uh, keeping Frank. If I was chewing gum on a podcast episode, which you have told me before, like, yo, you can't do that. That's your gum. You'd fucking roast me. No, you, no, because you slap your gum. You chew the shit oh, out of it. Oh, you're not slapping it? That's exactly what you're doing. I'm you doing bastard. it for comedic flavor. You're not doing flavor? Yeah. This is fucking salt and pepper, what Look, you're doing right now. Give me a sentence. Um, to say, just a random sentence. Clanging and banging with my friends down in Chicago. Okay, give me a different sentence. Oh, okay. I thought that was a good one. <laughs> I thought that was a good one. Is that not? <laughs> Don't ask for a sentence and then just fucking judge the sentence I give you. Clanging and banging with my friends down in Chicago? Yes. Okay. Clanging and banging with my friends down in Chicago. Now, oh. with gum chewing flavor. Yeah. Comedy. Go flavor. ahead. Go ahead. The flavor of comedy. The, the, yeah. The, the I don't know what I'm of, saying. The spice of it. Clanging and... <laughs> you can't even say it. Clanging and banging with my... Uh, my friend's down in Chicago. <laughs> it fucking like you. Also, I, I, I kind of I feel like I'm working on a house when I say. Yeah, like you that. are. Yeah, you're chewing on a pencil as you're doing this. <laughs> well, <laughs> why are you smoking it? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's, you're on your. You're you're just walked in and you're about to order asparagus at a steakhouse. That's what. what it, yeah, as you. Asparagus. That's a side. You don't order that. It just comes. Uh, you don't go to a steakhouse and go, let me get the asparagus. It just comes. You speak for yourself. You ever had bacon wrapped asparagus? No. But back, keeping it frank, don't you dare fucking do that ever again. If I, I'm going to chew gum on this podcast so loud next time, I'm going to fucking... What's that? Chew gum. Nine gum? Nine gum. That's why you can't, because you talk and shit. Give me, what do you think? Can you spell out? Spell out really quick what it would sound like to chew gum, like, loudly. This is the plug, free plug, by the way, for the Patreon episode. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We did writing out sounds. It's incredible. Let me do the sound first. Okay. <laughs> I heard, right before you did it, you went... <laughs> All right, let's see. Munchum. Munchum. <laughs> Let me, let me try. Let me try. Yeah. Oh, just so everyone knows, <laughs> if you watch the Patreon episode, you'll get what we're doing. We did this like a bunch, where it's like you have to write out a sound, and then like you have to guess what the sound is. And Frank, <laughs> Frankie just threw the fucking thing. But Frankie's god awful at this. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Spoiler: His jerking off sound. It was munching, ching, ching, sham, ching, chim, ching, sham, ching, chim, ching. Like, and I was supposed to fucking guess that. Listen, I have a... Uh, Weird way of jerking off. M no. <laughs> Apparently you're wearing a bunch of bracelets. I have a... Mm -hmm. ching, ching, ching. I have a myriad of talents and strengths. I will 
concede that this might not be one of them. I will say, like, the sash. Yeah, yeah. That was a really good one. We won't let you guys, we won't spoil it for you. Go check it out, patreon.com. All right, chew for me for a sec. No, mouth open, you okay, bastard. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. That's all you get. Let's see what he's writing. Okay, this is good. Shung Jung? Why does everything you say sound like... No, it's like... Shung Jung Shung Jung. You, you can't... You're so... Like, you can't even interpret sound. Like, what are you hearing? Maybe you just hear the world differently than I do. Maybe we just hear different shit. You know what I mean? Shung Jung. Like, if a car presses its horn, I hear something. <laughs> what do you hear? Huh? Okay. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. That was really good. I would say I would hear... <laughs> That's a big truck. That is a big one. I'm talking about a regular compact oh. car. Shank. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Shank. Chew. 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 Junk. That's Junk. not. I'm, it's not <laughs> happening. It is. It's just not. It is. Free plug for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Go support. Also, I feel like I need to take that from you because you're a child. I, I like and writing just, things. I know that. Um, and it's fun. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Um, so I have a video pulled up that you wanted me to watch. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Okay. Um, oh, we're jumping right into it, babe. Yeah, we're just... But did you call me Bib? Bib. Bib? Babe. Oh, babe. Yeah. You said it lightning fast. Bib. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Bib. I got, uh, that, I got that from the guy that does my oil change. Yeah. What? I got... He calls me babe. You mean you're a mechanic? Yeah. That guy... <laughs> I'll call it. I'll I got like, it from the guy who does my surgeries. Yeah, the doctor. Uh, I'll call. I'll be like, hey, I need an oil check. Oh, no problem, babe. Come on over. He babes you. He babes me. And I, I feel, honestly, people used to make fun of me for babing. Now everyone's babing. Well, I would I would feel like when a, when a mechanic, I feel emasculated when I talk to mechanics. Cause I, yeah, because you're a, you're a piece of shit compared to them. Oh, oh, I thought I thought you were going to say like me personally, but you, we're in the same boat here. We, oh, well, we can't fix a car. I can't. No, I cannot fix a car. I have no idea what's going on. No, yeah. I don't even know where the oil is. Tell me a part. It could be made up, and I'll tell you where it is, and it's wrong. Yeah. I'm, I assume everything's in there. In the front. Right. That's where everything is. Gotta be. Under the hood. Under the hood. I have to like pretend that I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know about cars, you're a little bitch. Apparently, as a man, you'll be emasculated. Oh, yeah. You're a little... So the, I, I talk to this man, and I'm just like, dude, I, I can't do this right now. Everyone used to make fun of me for Hawaiian shirts, and then they started wearing Hawaiian shirts. Everyone was making fun of me for babe, for calling my friends and my loved ones babe, and now everyone's fucking doing it. I don't think everyone's doing I it. I think it is. I don't think... I, think I it's definitely just, think so. I think it's you... Well, that's where it starts. Mm. Trendsetter, from my hat to my sweater. Okay, that's enough. Um, but anyway, I'll get this. Oh, yeah. Do you, I, when I, so. Do you want to preface this video? So, first of all, welcome back in the basement yard. You keep saying that. I just want, I feel like we just started. And I know we did, but like, I feel like we haven't given a proper intro. Okay. I told Joey, there's a video that has been, it's gone viral. Uh, and it is. Yo, I can't talk. What the fuck? Okay, a video gone viral. Video gone viral. Uh, you guys have probably seen it. It's this woman who is like, "Yo, I am making like a part. Like, it's pasta night. Yeah. Pasta night. I'm having the boys over or the girls, whoever you're having over. And it's one of those videos that are a kitchen hack, quote unquote. It's yeah. like pasta hack or, or life hack or some shit. Yeah. And I need you to see it because okay. I wanted to. I'm gonna preface this with most of the life hacks that I see, especially when it comes to cooking. Are like super unnecessary. Most of it's like here's a crazy way to cut a watermelon, and I'm like, just cut this shit in half with a machete. We'll we'll get to we'll get to other life hacks that have fucking pissed me off. But okay. what, let's break this down. So first of all, from the opening shot, big no no. Yeah, we're using Prego. We're using Prego, Prego. Uh, sauce, mm -hmm. and uh, which it looks like like it looks like what your body makes after you eat anything. That looks like if I had diarrhea after I ate 400 beets. If you've ever seen Jurassic Park, yeah, and the the, the scene where the mud is falling on the yeah. Barbasol can, that's what Prego looks like. Yeah, actually, that was a very I love that scene. You're welcome. For some reason, Dennis Nedry. All right, let's get let's get going on this. <gasps> oh my God. Joey's never seen this. Holy cow. First of all, wait, is she pouring that on her counter? That's a counter. 
That's a countertop. <laughs> also, can we? I think someone came back there. <laughs> I'm going to turn the oh, volume up. Yeah, I want to hear it. I think someone came. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Came. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. It's right on the countertop. Yep, um, all my friends are coming over. Well, All of her friends. Way. She clearly never wants to, to see them ever. Oh my god! Oh my god! She's wearing a shirt that says "Plant Lady." Oh, is she? Yeah. I didn't even see that. Back it up. Uh oh. Look, you were having a good time. You were pouring your sauce, but then bang! <laughs> plant I, I, Lady. I can't make fun of that too much. Becca does have a mug that says "Crazy Plant Lady." Oh, throw it out! <laughs> throw it out! And also, just to be not sexist, the dudes who have Plant Dad. No, the guys, I saw one that was like, uh, it was a mug and it was like, I don't have a dad bod, it's called a father figure, and I wanted to fucking smash this porcelain mug yeah. to bits. Yeah, okay. To make spaghetti for a crowd. Spaghetti for and a crowd. It's fun, it's all just right in front of you, you don't have to worry about dishes or a mess or anything like that. It's on your Hold on. Uh, what? what? <laughs> this is the de 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 definition of it! You're poured it on the countertop, lady. What do you mean you don't have to worry about a mess? You are creating the ultimate mess. The ultimate mess. There is no... This is a pigsty there, of sauce. There is no way that anything in this place is not going to be covered with fucking red sauce. Also, we're only 26 seconds into this two-minute video. What is the end game? Oh. Is the end game to eat pasta off of your the island Just, in your kitchen? You, you are done, babe. Like savages? You are not done. Keep watching. This is, the, this is how it works. But it's all over this your This is how it works. Then, then no, it's not. <laughs> Do you hear the girl? Who is it? She goes, but it's all over her counter. It's all over your counter. And then the next step is... She just ignores that. No, it's not. Meet the balls. Meet the balls. Okay. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my... Right in line. Gosh. What is wrong she with this fucking asshole? She made a lot of... Asshole. That's a lot of meatballs. And you've done this before. Oh, yeah. We do this all the time. This oh, is like, pause it. <laughs> oh, you've done this before. Oh, yeah. We do it all the time. Why? You got plates? You got plates, Becca? Becky? Careful. Careful. Yeah. That was a mistake. That was a... She's going to be upset when she sees this. Probably. Yeah. But I know you guys have plates. <laughs> we do. We have... If, the... I'm telling you this right now. <laughs> all if right. If I walked into your house... And, you and you're like, this? yo, we're going to do something cool. And you started pouring prego sauce. I'd be like, Frankie. Yeah. I'd pull you to the side into a closet. Get really close to you. <laughs> And I go, end this now. End it. Take the sauce off the counter. End this. End this. I don't know if it would be enough to like, I would, if Becca did this or had this idea, I wouldn't be able to live with her anymore. Like share a life with a woman that does this? This is how a four-year-old makes food. Yo, legit, I swear to God, when I first saw it, I was like, yo, this has got to be like a three-year-old doing this. Yeah. Like, I, this is something Miles would do. Miles would be like, oh, this is cute. This is something you laugh at a four-year-old for doing. Yeah. A fucking grown-ass plant lady. <laughs> you don't this isn't cute yeah this isn't she's yeah. like I'm making it for my friends she, she it's very clear this is an act of war also who are your friends after this video no one no friends not a single person here we go folks this is so way cool to feed a ton of people so I would absolutely so not yep I would never use she's pouring that like an asshole I just, I just want to yeah. say that also, how is she Everyone making this? Like an omelet? Cheesy. She's going to flip it over. You want to make sure that you're getting enough in there. Right. You're getting enough, yeah. aka. Okay, the that's whole a lot of fucking cheese. <laughs> the whole thing. Wow. And then you take your noodles. Oh my gosh. And First you of all. Stuff it. Yep. I, I, a little hot, so be careful. Sure. I love how she's doing this, like trying to be like, guys, down. everyone do this with me. Oh this is going to catch on. And this is not, I don't think this is going to be enough noodles. If she mixes this yeah. with her hands, so I'm going to punch my laptop. So make sure you have enough. Right. Um, you don't want your guests to go hungry. I would never want my guests to go hungry. Okay. So never. I mean, you, you want them to hate wow. your fucking guts, apparently, but not go hungry. Wow. I hope, I hope this is a joke. It's this like woman steamy. clearly has oh like, my she... Gosh, that's so cool. And now... This woman clearly just like goes to sleep after like four bottles of wine every night. Because she was just like, she felt no pain taking that hot ass pasta out of that fucking pot. Well, when you do it so much. I wonder Appar Apparently. What do we do? Well, 
You gotta mix it up, girl. Okay, let's mix it up. So, take. You just fold it in. Yep, just fold it in. Just fold like it in. That. This is You're not folding eating. anything. How delicious is this? Look? It looks so good. And then at the end, you kind of. Let, wanna, let like, me make something very that, clear. That looks like a human was squashed by a rock all over your counter. It doesn't look delicious. They hung up. You know how like those things, those hangers for like pots and pans? Yeah. They hung someone from their back on that and just fucking sliced them open. Cut them open. And everything fell onto the fucking yeah. island. A nice looking island, by the way. That's some nice looking marble. And yeah. You want it all covered. This is amazing. Where did you see this? That was it? Did that was it? Yeah. No. Wait, do you hear that? Take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fold it in. It's yep, something. Just, just the recorder has that there. I don't know why. What? It's just, just playing this music. Right just playing music. Hold on, pause this. I want to hear the music. It's very low. It's very low. I don't know if people can hear it. Is it pulling up a frequency or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's happening. What the fuck, guys? It's like just like playing music. So yeah, I mean, f for for me, uh, I really hope that this is a, a joke because no, no. I think I saw something at, like the New York Times. This is legit playing music. Yeah, I like, lowered it. You're good. You're good. You're okay, good. Okay, all right. They did like an interview with the person that did this, and they were like, we wanted to make cooking fun. Nothing about this screen. You don't fun. need to do this later. If anything, this is significantly less fun. Yeah, eating and just having a quick cleanup. That's a lot of fun to me. Paper plate. Big party. Paper plates. Boom. Throw them out. Yeah. Done. This psychotic you need to like fucking also again what what am i supposed to do i'm supposed to eat fucking pasta off of your kitchen counter what, what savages yeah what are we doing joey do you want to come over friday night what do you what do you do what do you want to come over friday night we're gonna do pasta you want to come over it's gonna be all over the floor i hope you like eating in the fucking living room off of the carpet because that's where we like to make our that's that's what's fun you know what's fun Spilling sauce all over my house. Forget about the fact that she was using Prego, which you guys know how I feel about Prego. Very upset with Prego. Well, we don't. That's not like yeah, well we do. documented. It's a well documented. I don't know if it's jarred. Well documented. Pre if you're fucking having Prego, you might as well just fucking just a whole bag of sugar in your mouth. Prego is the like pedigree. <laughs> you know, like the dog food pedigree. Oh, I thought you were saying like a wrestling move. I was oh. gonna say like how? What do you? What connection are you making here? <laughs> Like, Prego is a pedigree. It's like a McDonald's sauce, basically. Ugh. That's what it is. Yeah. It's like, disgusting. I would, I, what would you rather have? The McRib or the Prego? Oh, dude, probably the Prego. <laughs> yeah, it's actually good. Dude, the McRib? That's, you don't know what it is. Like, what can that be? What, I know it isn't what it's. It's what can't it be? It's, and oh, it's, the answer's food. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I want to know how old the boy who they took that rib from is. Yeah. This there's no way that's actual, like... I think they just shaved, like, like, like they took... You know how, like, you go to, like, a dermatologist and they take a chunk of, like, a beauty mark? Like a biopsy? I think, yeah. <laughs> I think they just took biopsies from a bunch of, like, little boys and just threw them into a fucking grinder and made them make rib. Oh, my God. It's so disgusting. These kitchen hacks get me so angry yeah. because they are not... Like, some of them are, like, legit. But, yeah. like, they're not fucking helping anyone. Like, I saw one... It was like, oh, fucking take aluminum foil, crumble it up into a ball, and rub it on a carrot. And I'm like, what the fuck is that Isn't doing? Isn't that dangerous? I, I would assume so. If you eat aluminum foil? It can't be good for you. My mom used to tell me something about aluminum foil and like not to chew it. Yeah, I, and I was to like, chew it when I was younger. Well, I didn't. That I was did. My, I was just about to insult you. Oh. Because I was just about to say, like, I'm not a fucking idiot. Why would I chew this? I... Was a fucking idiot. Why did you chew it? I honestly, I like chewing ice. Like I chew ice. So just, so it's not ice. I know it's not, <laughs> but it's like a weird, like it just felt good. It was like foil. Yeah, it felt good. I also would do the foil on my teeth. Like I had grills. Oh, Duh. we all did that. Duh. Yeah. But it wasn't like that bad. I mean, I'm sure it's bad for you. Yeah. But it wasn't like, at the time, I remember enjoying it. So, quite their a bit. life hack is to hey, instead of getting a peeler, mm -hmm. just get aluminum foil. Yeah, it was like no waste carrot pe peeling. And it's like, hey, I don't, I don't, is there like an outcry for like, we peel too much of the carrot? Wait, no waste? What are we talking about? It like only takes off like the, la like the outside layer. 
And what is that supposed to do? You can, I, you get more carrot to eat. That's not how <laughs> matter works. <laughs> if you have un carrot, any way you shave it, it's what you have. Well, no, when you shave it, you lose like a sliver. You know, it's not like a completely paper thin layer that you're taking off. There's a little bit of a sliver that but you're taking you off. You could eat it, but we choose not. Well, yeah, just wash your fucking carrots. You can still eat whatever's on there. Yeah, I mean, eat it like fucking Bugs Bunny. I do like to do that. Do you? Yeah. Do you, do you have, like, the big green tail? I don't. Those are organic, and they're expensive, and you don't pay Expensive for carrots? Yeah, dude. You can get, like, a bag of carrots for, like, two ninety nine. the organic ones, for, like, a bundle of, like, six. It's, like, $8. Six carrots? It's not cheap, man. It's not cheap. These fucking farming... Pieces of shit. I want to. I want to have carrots like that because I think it would be cool. Yeah, I think it's like really cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah. my my wallet doesn't allow me. That's so weird. It's fucking. It is very dumb. But these kitchen hacks, like, and these like life hacks things that people do, where they're like, oh, instead of uh, getting a socket wrench, take a piece, take a bolt, and put another fucking nut on it, and then turn the thing around. I was like, dude. Why? Why are we trying to overcomplicate get things? Get the proper tools, Just though. Just do it. This is why we invented the things. Yeah. Literally, we're going backwards in time. But life hack, instead of using electricity, light a candle. Yeah. It's like, thanks. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want to be Paul Revere, so I'm just going to turn the light on. Yeah. Or just get another light bulb. Can we? Joey, If Joey had a broken light bulb, he would buy a whole new house. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he would do. He'd be like, oh, shit, the light bulb's out. New room. Just a whole fucking... Just renovate the whole room. No, what I would do... I wouldn't do that, but what I would do is if there was four and one of them was like, whatever, then I'd be like... Well, I wouldn't... I would try to replace it, but if I couldn't, then I would just buy four new ones. Like, I can't have one light that's like a different shade. Oh, well, yeah. No, I would say like if you had like four lights and one of them went out, you would wait until they all went out and then buy a lamp. So... (laughs) That's what you would do, you fucking psychopath. I actually... So I got new spoons... It's hot. It's, I'm sorry, it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah, I just had to let the baby breathe. Do you want to take your shirt off? I, I act. To be honest, yes, but I will not. Okay, I'm not opening that door. Criticism. <laughs> the door was open, wasn't it? it, it it's gotten worse since oh, okay. the last time people saw me shirtless. Well, that's okay. No, that's what happens. You know, when you have a ch- child. You're not wrong. How is the baby? Is it, has it shit on you yet? Uh, she all well. <laughs> I don't know why I said it. Yeah, <laughs> has it shit on you? I wa- dude. I walked. I was in Costco the other day, and uh, the Costco was like right next to like a, a heavy like Hasidic Jewish neighborhood, and this woman like she was being kind. She was she was a, a practicing Jewish woman. I almost said Jew. You can. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> she's a Jew. It just feels wrong, and like she was being nice and asked me like how old my daughter was but she didn't say it like that and it came off like offensive i'm standing in line at costco and she goes how old is that baby (laughs) i'm like i'm like oh uh, three and a half months she's like nice that was it that was it like didn't say like it's cute she was like when can i can recruit this she's yeah she wanted to fucking full-on just be like yo come hang with us shave your head wear a wig yeah wait is that what Apparently, that's what women in the community do. Wait. I watched that unorthodox movie, and it's real. Wait. <laughs> I went to call timeout. <laughs> Why did they do that? I went to call timeout, and they did the same thing of the cross. I meant to do this. Joey meant to do the T for timeout, and ended up just doing the sign of the cross. I don't know. Maybe we're talking about religion. This shit is like hot as shit in here, bro. It is hot in here. Like, um, but yeah, no. I But T... Uh, Jewish women, they shave heads? Apparently, the rumor is from that movie Unorthodox, which is on Netflix, which mm-hmm. it's, if it's on there, it's real. Right. The women shave their head and wear a wig. Tight. And they don't like, they only have sex. Through sheets. Through sheets, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Don't kill the messenger here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, they yeah. like, when the, when the girl is, ovu- not ovulating, but uh, menstruating, they have to sleep in a whole separate bed. Oh, because blood. Is that <laughs> <laughs> that I, that one? I I don't know for sure, but I definitely said it. Yeah. So. Well, that's it's a, out there now. Yeah. It's fair. a theory. It's a theory. That's hey, what man, it is. That's, theory. We, we're making it up, just like that guy that convinced everyone that that girl walked around with beans in her pocket. That model. What? You never heard about that? 
There was some like. How did you just pull that out of thin air? There was a model with beans in her pocket. There, there was someone on the internet that just started a rumor, and everyone believed it. And it was this like supermodel, or not supermodel, but this like famous like Victoria's Secret model or some shit, keeps just like beans, like baked beans, in her bag all the time. Not like in a can, not just in a bag. Loose beans. Loose beans. <laughs> that are like cooked. The, well, so smushed beans. Beans. Not like hard beans. No. Just like, like a, open up a Bush's baked beans, dump it into your pocket, or apparently. Okay, I typed in supermodel, I, supermodel beans, beans and nothing came up. So type in um, beans in pocket. No, Frankie. There's some, No, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Donatella spills the beans on Versace. No, no, no. There's a guy that made up a rumor about beans in, in, in bag or some shit. Rumor. Beans in bag. Okay. Growing I'm, beans in a bag. I saw this. Maybe you had a fever dream. <laughs> I'm telling you, I saw this somewhere. That she just had beans? No, no, no. Was the it guy, debunked? It was, De-beaned? I'm pretty sure it was debunked because no one would carry fucking just <laughs> beans. Yeah. But the guy, like, he made afterward, he was like, yeah, I made that up, but it's hysterical because people believed it. That's actually dope. That's really funny. I also wanted to circle back real quick. Since we were talking about the uh, the Hasidic uh, Jewish community, community, yeah, yeah, I noticed. Mm -hmm. and maybe this is just in Brooklyn. Uh oh. But I've driven through the Hasidic neighborhoods. Yes. And they like walk in twos for the most part. I mean, I I don't know, but for the most part, they're mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. with someone else. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are always on the phone. And I, like I was driving around, and I was like. A lot of people on their phone. Like, it was just, like, not like a phone. Like, phone. Flip phone, yeah. Yeah, like phoning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Talking on the phone. And phoning. <laughs> yeah. Phoning your friend. And phoning home. That's basically. exactly what they're doing. And uh, I'm driving around, and I'm like, there's a lot of people on their phones. And, I, and then I'm like, yo, everybody's on their phone. Yeah, I have seen quite a bit. Uh, uh, it makes you think. Like, in my, because, like I said, we live next to a, an area that, that is a pretty, you know, uh, large community. And I've seen a lot of. Members of the, the Jewish community driving with the fucking phone out. I thought that was like extinct. I didn't know people still did that. Talked on the phone while driving? Just like, yo, yo. Oh, you just speaker phone yeah. that shit. No, no, no. Just, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're like, no, no, no. Yo, yo. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> just driving. No, no, no. Yo, yo. Yeah. And, but the way she asked me how old my daughter was, it was, it was very like. How old is that baby? Yeah. How, how old is that? And like, in a very. She said it like a principal. She said exactly. She said it like Miss Pogerman. No, well, Mischnetzer. Mich yes, but Mischnetzer was. She was German. She was German. Too close. Yikes. Yeah. But she said it, and she was like. <laughs> she said it. She goes. How old? How old's that baby? Just, you know, very, very. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you know doing? what? You know what? Well, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> like, give me something else to say. Just how's like, your day? Oh, how's your day? Yeah, I don't like that. How old's how old that baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like... like She was judging it. Or she made a side bet with her yeah, other friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Nice. She wasn't with any friends, though. I, I don't... She was a soul? She was with her kids. How many? I know there was Sometimes one... Sometimes they have a lot of babies. There like was eight. one boy. How does that help me? I. That's all I can remember. I don't know if she had more babies with her. You told me there was multiple kids, and now you have no idea. I, I, all I remember is one boy. All right. There's, there was more kids, but I don't remember if they were boys or girls. I'm trying to be accurate Forget here. about the boys and girls. How many children? <laughs> Three, maybe? All right. That's what I was asking. Well, don't ask for fucking specifics. No one asked for specifics. I'm upset you can't find the beans story. <laughs> I know in the back of your mind, you're like, yo, what's going on? Yo, I'm not kidding. I'm like, yo, how... How did this not come up? Where did you see it? Did I got to find this now. Some guy like made a thing and it was like starting a rumor about beans. All right. You look that up and I'm going to get to these uh, advertisements right here. Um, and then we'll, we'll circle back on the beans in the pockets or whatever the fuck is going on. Uh, the first one we have here is Headspace. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations and an easy to use app. Uh, so their app... 
uh, which is like the most popular way to get into meditation, uh, has over 60 million downloads. It's backed by 25 published studies uh, on its benefits, over 600,000 five-star reviews. So if you're looking to get into meditation, like this is gonna is how you want to do it. All right, use the Headspace app. Uh, Headspace, I have it downloaded on my phone as well. Uh, sometimes in the morning, I like to do it before I start my day. Some people like to do it right before bed to like help them sleep at night. Um, but yeah, it's it's amazing and it's you know it can help you de-stress um, and it improves your sleep or boosts your focus, like these kind of things. And like I said, there's 25 published studies that are uh, that back its benefits. So um, if you want to try out uh, Headspace, go to headspace.com/basement. Um, and you get a free one month trial with access to the full library of meditations for every situation. Uh, this is the best deal offered right now. Uh, head to headspace.com slash basement today. Uh, again, you get a free one month trial with access to headspace's, uh, full library of meditations for every situation. Okay. Uh, next year we have liquid IV, uh, liquid IV. All right. Hydration multiplier plus immune, immune support in a cutting edge a uh, blend of vitamin C, zinc, and Wellmune in convenient uh, single serve single serving packets to help strengthen your immune system. All right, so you just pop these things open, you put it in a glass of water, you mix it up. It tastes really good. They have a bunch of flavors that are like fire. I haven't had one that I was like, "Yo, this is great." They're all good, and uh, you know, I like to have one when I'm like hungover, or if I feel like I haven't drank enough water that day, and I just want to put some like nutrients in my body, or just you know, just kind of like bolster whatever else is going on in here as far as immune support um then i'll just pop a liquid iv um and like i said they taste really good and they have uh immune support they have hydration multiplier and they also have um one ones that will like help boost like what is that called i don't even know like energy it's like an energy booster i don't know why i just like lost that um but anyway it actually also hydrates you quicker than water does because of uh the cellular transport technology that it has as well um so go check out liquid iv uh it's hydration multiplier i've seen a bunch of people also tweet me and like send me uh pictures of them They're like oh i bought liquid iv it's really good um but yeah liquidiv.com use the co- use the code basement at checkout you'll get 25 percent off um of your purchase so again 25 percent off uh if you go to liquidiv.com and use the promo code basement at checkout um, they're also in bulk at Costco. So if you're at a Costco and you see it, you can buy it there as well. Uh, and again, 25% off anything you order, uh, liquidiv.com and use the promo code basement. Uh, next year we have Quip, uh, Quip. That's my toothbrush. I've been using it. I've been faithful to it. I actually just bought a whole bunch of different stuff from them. I bought their gum. They have a dentist, uh, recommended gum that they made and it is tasty. I was just chewing it. That was the gum that I was actually chewing at the beginning of this episode. Um, but yeah, uh, so it's, it's really good gum. Uh, it has some fancy packaging. All the stuff that they have is really like well-made. And they, I bought like the, the toothbrush, let me just say, it's an electric toothbrush, the Quip, and uh, it, it has a, a vibrating timer on it. And it pulsates every 30 seconds to let you know when to switch sides. And you do it for two minutes, which is how you're how long you're supposed to be brushing your teeth for. Um, and then it has like, you know, this carrying case and like all these things that you would need um, basically in one place. And the best part about it is that for uh, you get refills. All right. And it's and it's cheap to have these refills, too. So you really don't even have to think about it. Like usually you have a toothbrush and you have to go buy another one you know, every three months, or if you're me and you drop it, then it's like, well, I'm, throwing, I'm lighting this on fire. But every three months you get a new brush head and you get a refill on the gum or the the floss. And it's like having a brand new bathroom, like a whole, you know, all your uh, tools that you need uh, to be clean. All right. And if you go to getquip.com slash basement right now, you can get a free plastic dispenser with any refill um, that's a free dispenser at getquip.com slash basement, G E T Q U I P.com slash basement. Uh, go check them out. But yeah, quip is great. That's all I've been using for years now. Um, and yeah, the last time that I bought it, I didn't even wait for them to send me anything. I just went on their site and I bought it because it's that good, honestly. So, uh, getquip.com slash basement, go check them out. Uh, lastly here, we have stamps.com, uh, stamps.com brings the services of the U S postal service and UPS right to your computer. Um, so if you're a small business or you're an office that is sending packages pretty frequently, this is what you're going to want to use, uh, because it's very convenient. Also, it saves you time and it saves you money. You don't have to wait in lines at the post office or anything. And you can also access it 24 seven. Um, you could print any, uh, official U S postage, um, 
like I said, 24 seven, any package, any class of mail, whatever you want. Um, and you get up to 40% off post office rates and up to 66% off of UPS shipping rates. So you're saving time money, like I said. Uh, so it's a no brainer. Um, and there's no risk. And with the promo code basement, you get a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale, no long-term commitments or anything like that. Uh, just go to stamps.com, stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in basement. Uh, that is stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, type in basement and, uh, yeah, never have to go to the post office again. So there you go. Boom. I found it. Beans. I'm founding. I found it. I'm, I'm sending the article to you. I'm airdropping it to you. My computer? Can I, can I do that? Uh, I don't know if you can airdrop a link. I think you can. You're going to airdrop a link to me? Bingo. Let me see. Or is this a... Done. Oh, okay. All right. Let me... Let me... Oh, my God. Okay, okay. You're. First of all, I just want to say this. I'm going to... Hold on. I need to start a, a new screen recording here. <laughs> so here's the thing, Frankie. Let me, I'll, I'll get to it. Hold on one second. Okay. All right. We're starting the recording. So that everyone sees, I convinced the internet that Dixie D'Amelio keeps baked beans in her pocket, right? No, 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 no. Real quick. No, no, no. No, no. Real quick. No. You said supermodel. I don't know who she is. I saw. Hold on. Hold on. You don't know who Dixie D'Amelio is. But I saw like the headline. But do you know who Dixie D'Amelio is? I have no clue who it is. Do you know who Charlie D'Amelio is? Becca got her coffee. What? Becca got her coffee. She had coffee. Oh, at Dunkin' Donuts. At Dunkin'. But you don't know who she is. No clue. So if I told you right now she's a famous like trapeze artist, you'd have to believe me. <laughs> Basically. Okay, well then she's a pirate. I this mean, is her, this but is her no, first no, no. mate. But I, I, read, I read a little bit of the article, so I know that they're not. I, I assume there's some sort of social media person. They're TikTok like mega stars. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, I incorrectly said a model. So show me. Like, I'm sorry. Fucking take it easy. Okay. So anyway... Uh, <laughs> beans. In, is that a wallet? Yeah. Okay. How did he do this? The article is great. Oh, first of all, the way this is written. Yesterday morning, I went to take a shit while my coffee was. I mean, growing. what do you expect? You're not. You, you want hard cutting fucking journalism from Total Frat Move. That's com? true. We're on Total Frat Move. Um. Lana Rhodes can shoot ping pong balls out of her asshole. Is that true? I feel like people, I don't. I, I don't know who that is either. <laughs> Lana Rhodes. I no clue. You, what are you? Ninety years old. How do you know who these people are? I don't know. Literally, I, I don't. Is Sean Paul's in this? You know Sean Paul. I know Sean Paul. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I trust me. I know Sean Paul. Okay, so how? Do, what the fuck? So the guy saying he made a fake. He was pissed because this person had like twenty four million followers. So he made a Facebook account of a middle aged woman who's saying to have been that girl's teacher. Yeah. And saying that she had like some anxiety disorder. So in order to quell that, she had her, like a bag full of beans on her at all points in time. <laughs> and everyone believed it. Yeah. Look, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Look, look, look. Have you ever had a student that lose the ranks of being famous? Blah, 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 blah. Go down more. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck, where? A great way to overcome anxiety is by keeping a small Ziploc bag of your favorite snack on your person and running your fingers over the texture of the bag before you're set to take stage. When I asked Dixie what her favorite snack was, she let out a laugh and said, baked beans. Unconventional, sure, but I conven- conveyed her, uh, uh, conveyed to her that we could work with that. The next day, I made my way to the teacher's lounge before auditions with a small plastic bag with baked beans and handed it off to Dixie. With a crutch for her anxiety and her God-given ability, she landed the lead role. <laughs> and this landed. This is fucking incredible. And this is the rest of the year. Oh, wait, go up, go up, go up, go up. The rest of the year on test day, I would have a tiny bag of baked beans ready to go whenever I saw Dixie showing signs of general anxiety. <laughs> Can you imagine this is real? Yo, we need to. I, uh, uh, I see Dixie fidget with her right pocket. I know that despite leaving her small town for Hollywood, she's still my little bean girl. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Loki racist? Come on. Why is that racist? Uh, I mean, she's not Spanish, but if she I was. I was going to say, oh, it would be a Spanish thing? Yeah. So yeah, so this guy like on like posted this stuff online and people believe that this girl That's so fucking funny, dude. After that she got it out last night and it began to explode. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Go up. Yeah. 
You're my biggest inspiration. Thank you for bringing so much joy into my life. I think people just start like commenting like Bean Girl. So Mark said Dixie was uh, disabling comments on her Instagram and deleting TikTok. People comments Bean Girl. (laughs) Let me make something very clear. I don't think it's cool to like bully people. I mean, if you're going to bully someone, (laughs) definitely bully them in this way. This is fucking hysterical. This is a creative way of doing it. Just also, like, like, if I'm her, I would never be, like, who, offended show me this, by this. Show me this girl so I can see, like, you need to look at them and be like, yeah, they would carry baked beans with them. She's, like, 19. I guess. I don't know. I mean, she doesn't look like she would carry. I mean, it. Is she beanie? Is she beans? Is she is she beans from fucking even Steven? You're also asking me what she looks like to see if she would carry beans. What does a person who looks like who carries beans look like? <laughs> Type in uh, old Irish man. No, yeah, basically fat old Irish man. That's look. That's who carries. This guy beans. crushes <laughs> beans, dude. <laughs> this guy carries beans 100. percent Oh, wait, I think... <laughs> Over under 5% of what he says. This guy loves beans, but he also loves garlic. It, <laughs> wrong movie, Joey. What? You're talking... I think you're... This is from The Irishman. You're talking the guy from fucking... No, I think that... No, I'm not talking about Goodfellas. I thought you were talking about Goodfellas. No, I'm saying this guy This guy doesn't love garlic. Everyone this loves guy garlic. loves garlic and hates... Uh, I don't know mind. what's going on anymore. I was going to say, he loves garlic, but hates people that are of color. <laughs> I mean, you're a person of... But isn't that fucking hysterical? Yeah, that's kind of out of control, to be honest. I feel like we need to start a rumor, but, like, covertly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, I, I was going to say, I hope you fucking... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, we're good. Why? I think there was something you said on there that it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... So who who could we start a rumor? Yo, about? I'm sweating. Look at me. I'm very. It's very hot. It's hot as fucking. I'm here. not joking around. I'm not gonna start a rumor about someone. I don't know if I could be that creative. Baked beans in the wallet though is fucking hilarious. Baked beans in the pocket. That's fucking great. That's really always good. carry a little baked bean. Imagine, imagine. You know, there's probably some weirdos in fucking Hollywood that actually have some weird shit like that. But what? like, imagine you're like going on stage and she's like, "Yo, I need. Where's my beans? <laughs> Where are my bushes? My bush beans. I need my bush baked where's, beans. Where's babe. Uncle Ben? Home style. Wait, Holcomb Ben's out, right? Who? Uncle Ben? You said Hokum Ben. I did. I was going to say, who the fuck is that? I was, I was they changed say, it from Uncle Ben to like Ben's original or some shit like that. What about Aunt Jemima? They changed to something. It's it's like country style or some shit. What? I don't know. I mean, the, by the way, anything country style is probably really good. It is very like, or, or Deep fried, like fucked up or like from Nashville. Not the people, but Nashville, like <laughs> Nashville, like hot wings oh. and shit. Tennessee barbecue. Oh man! Can't, when we start talking about like racist sounding uh, condiments, I'm in. Yeah, I am in for that. Yeah, there's isn't there one that's like lip sucking, finger sucking barbecue yeah, it's sauce. Like, it's like fat finger fucking yeah, sauce. Like, and hey, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. Listen, you can't make that sauce and also still call people of color the coloreds. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, you can't yeah, make those jokes. It's crazy, but I. I <laughs> I feel like that's the rule. The more racist a condiment sounds, the, more the delicious. The, yeah, the probably the better it is. Just like if you just had like a, you know, like what do you what are you putting on your hot dog? Oh, I'm putting a good old Hitler relish. Yeah, and you're like, "Damn, that's probably mad spicy." He's not racist. <laughs> he was anti-Semitic, but like parallels. Yeah, they're, you know, they're you know, the same family. Parallels. I I don't want to talk about food because you woke up today and chose to not eat all day. Well, I ate this morning, but I'm attempting a 20... The back of my knee is a, is a pool. Yeah? It's wet. Touch my hand after you touch it. Uh, are you serious? Oh, okay. Never mind. No, I thought you'd be just just disgusted by that. I mean, I am grossed out by it. Do you really want this? J- touch my arm. I can wash that better. That wasn't as wet as I thought. I was expecting, like, real moisture. You want to feel moisture? No, I don't want to dig into your ass. You're not digging. I'll do the digging. I'll do the wiping. Why do you think I would let you do that? What's wrong with you? Why do you think that was an option? That I was like, you know what? Yeah. In the, for the sake of the comedic... I'm saying, like, you would be... You really are sweating. I can see the shine I'm on your face. I'm dying in here. You would be astonished at the amount of moisture. If I stand up right now... I would say over forty percent chance that there's a moisture st- like sh- like streak it, on the chair. On the chair. What kind of pants are you wearing? Jeans. If it goes through jeans, I will not believe that. 
No, nothing. Okay. But it's it's wet. Yeah? It's wet right now. You got a wet cock? Not my cock. Just us whole? My balls. Your balls are right near your dick, though. Underneath? They catch the moisture. The dick just kind of just like lives a, lives a free life. My ball just sucked into my body when I did that. Don't. That's very scary. No, I know. Hold on. You ever have that happen? Oh, I got it out. Okay. Oh, now I'm just... Now that's... That's wet. <laughs> that is... Well, it went into your body and back out. Well, no. I'm talking about like just my sack. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to like... Yo, my ball's been getting sucked up recently for some reason. I'm not even touching my balls, just just my thigh. And it's wet. <laughs> it's very wet. <laughs> oh my god. It's... Yo, true story. I was peeing yesterday and I smelled my balls. And it smelled like what I remember my dad smelling like growing up. And I was like, yo, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait. Everyone's dad. Or parents have a smell. Everyone's got a smell. Their balls? Like, like everyone's got a smell. Like, I know, like... So you remember... You think you're... I, I'm very good with remembering smells. Okay. For instance, you're, you you might not be able to hit, like, remember this right now, but Espo, our friend Espo, I'm going to describe his smell, and you're going to be like, wow, you are good at describing smells and remembering smells. His He smells like if you farted in a thing of baby powder. Tell me I'm wrong. What else smells you got? Um, what did you? So what did your your balls smell like? Your dad? So so no no no. So <laughs> I remember when I was like younger, like my dad would like hold us, you know, once a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I would be like, oh yeah, that's that's daddy smell. And so your balls smell like daddy smell. So I fucking yesterday was peeing and I smelled it and I was like. This is my balls that smell this way. So you're like, my dad's down there. So I'm, sm- well, no. <laughs> but then I'm, rem- I'm thinking like, holy shit, like, was I smelling my dad's balls this whole time? Well, probs, right? Your dad has a smell. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not, probably not pleasant. No, no, it's very bad. Very, very unpleasant. I, I would describe it as uh, vomited broccoli. My dad used to take a shower, and then when he got out, the shower smelled like shit. Really? Yeah. It wouldn't smell like shit. It would smell like an old, like, here's what my dad smells like, Mm -hmm. right? Not like. (laughs) It's there. (laughs) Frankie just went like this. He went, (laughs) it's there. All right. My dad, right? Yeah. When he's full filth. Yeah. And then he takes a shower. Go ahead. He, when my dad is disgustingly filthy and then he takes a shower and then he gets out of the shower and I go in there. It smells as if a supermarket lost power, mm. right? For a good like 32 hours. Yeah. And then you walked through the produce section with all the lettuce and all the broccoli Just and you're sharp. like It's like it's it's earthy? It's a sharp earthy. But it's also like is there did someone spill mustard? Do you know uh. what I'm saying? Like so it it's just, got like a tangy tinge. It's a tangy, it's a tangy, uh, earthy, leafy kind of smell. T- yo, I swear to God, <laughs> I thought, I was like, yo, this is like, I smelled my balls. Because like you get a, you know. A, a I'm sure your dad would love the fact that you think of him when your balls are just stank. Huh? Listen to me. Not only does my dad never listen to this, but I can almost guarantee that he would never be able to find this. Right. You know. But he did. He, he, I, I'm realizing now that like that stink wasn't like my dad's smell. Yeah. It was probably just his disgusting balls. You ever see your dad's dick? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why'd you say that? Like you seen I had it, like I, fucking crazy. Well, well, when I was younger. No, yeah. I mean, I've seen my dad's dick too. Yeah. I remember. Yo, I remember my dad's dick. But there's one time. Good dick. Whack dick. Really. <laughs> No, I don't know. I don't know. Your dad is going to see this. I did. And he's going to call you. I don't got a whack dick. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. No, because my dad has giant hands and giant feet. Very big. And he would tell, he has big ass hands, big feet. And he Hold would on. Tell, he doesn't have big feet. He has wide feet. No, but they're they're like a size 12, I think. That's not that big. I mean, that's big. Go ahead. But he has giant hands and giant feet. He used to tell people all the time. He's like, you know what they say about big hands, big feet? Big gloves, big socks. And he goes. It's a lie. <laughs> really? You say that all the time. Really? Yeah. I've never, I've never seen your dad's dick. 
I would hope not. Yeah. I don't think you would have an opportunity. I, I would be. I mean, I was the one taking showers with the man, so I'd I've be seen in that. Therapy, dick. if I did. Yeah, we've shared a toilet bowl, me and him. We've peed together, me and my dad. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like you were sitting on it at the same time. Oh no, no. How would Jesus. that work? I mean, uh, I, I would have to shit through his legs. I guess. I mean, you and Keith were doing that apparently back in the day. No, no, no. He was sitting across from me. I was shitting, and he would sit on the tub. Still weird. Yeah, I, we're just a, a good old American white yeah. family. Listen, men in the world. Like, the moms showering with their kids is kind of okay, but you have an appendage that hangs, and, like, in, at a right, at, at the proper turn can fucking slap. Depending on what, you're, what you have. Some people, yeah, Some yeah. people can't you're right. knock their kid unconscious. You're right. I'm dick. not saying knock their kid, but, like, men of the world, don't shower with your kids. Like, it's weird, but, like, don't, or wear, wear boxers. Well, I, I don't. That's what you do. No, I don't know. We're boxers. It depends how old they are. Are you going to shower with your kids? Yeah. Really? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I said that so convincing. I have no idea. I have no idea. It depends. It's a feel thing. I think it is a feel thing. I just don't like think I will. Because you don't want to like sexualize it and make it weird. I know, and and it shouldn't be. That's the that's the appropriate way to approach it. But that, I, also, not, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like you remember your dad's dick. I remember my dad's dick. Yeah. I remember my mom's tits. Yeah. Whoa. I don't remember my mom's tits. Yeah, I remember them from when I was real young. Damn. Not like when I was like. You know what that means? Feeding on them. You know it's. <laughs> you know what that means? What? You're seeing them right now. Boom. Did it to you. You did. Yeah. You just, you just saw him again. No. I, I'm looking at your I eyes. I have the power now. I'm looking at your eyes. You have. I have the power now. You don't, you You're got... thinking of it. No. Shatner. What are you doing? No. Shatner. You sounded like him a little bit. <laughs> okay. You never. You don't remember your mom's boobs? No. You will now. I, I can't do that. That's not how that works. I did it too, guys. You tried. I, I got him. Not how that works. I, I think it is exactly how it works. No, but yeah, I peed with my dad. Is that weird? Peeing? No, no, no. I mean, I, I haven't. I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's weird. It's cool. It's cool. Cool to pee with your dad. I should have. So I should have told people that when I was younger. They would thought I'm cooler. No, well, no. I've peed with my dad. First of all, you were already the coolest. Fucking take it easy. You could always be more cool. Your dad used to do career. Imagine days. Imagine how cool it would have been. Yeah, my dad was a fireman. He used to do career days. I remember that. Pre K. My dad did not do career days. Go ahead, say it, you racist son of a bitch. He had a job. I, I've known I your saw dad. You, I saw you setting it up. No, I was waiting for what you were going to say. Like, I thought you had the joke about <clears throat> No, something. just, I you were gonna do just the voice. sad reality that he wouldn't do career day. Why? Just, just, like, come in and hang out, Dad. Like, meet my friends. Meet my friends. Yeah. Did we have friends back then? We had mad friends. Did we? First of all, we had each other. Yeah. But I'm had... saying, like, you know, I'm saying in class. Yeah. Who was in that class? What year? pre K. Pre- oh yeah, <laughs> what the fuck was that? There was um, like we talked to other kids in the class, but like were we friends with yeah, them? Yeah, it was Joe Effin, Campbell, Joe, Joe Campbell, Joe Campbell. Oh, that's right. But we weren't like fr- like hang out with him. Well, you were in pre K. You're not really doing a lot of hangouts outside of class. How old are you in pre K? Four. That's a good age. Four, four. Maybe you know you get the kids that are a little late. Three, you know, or early. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but. Was there anyone? Was David in our pre-K class? No. It was just me and you, right or die. That was Wakanda. <laughs> Forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? My dad came in, everyone's like, oh my god, your dad's so cool. He's a fireman. He's got the stick. I remember he, he did, bought the, the, stick. the big stick, the pointy stick. I wore stick. a big Tweety Bird shirt that day. Did you? Yeah. I dated a girl that was obsessed with Tweety Bird. I remember that. I just like brought it back. What? Yeah. She was obsessed with Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. I literally it just came back to me. What does that mean obsessed? Like, like obsessed. Like it was on her binder? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Just like weird, like a weird obsession that you had like sheets. Did like, you, you called her that? You called her Tweety no, Bird? No, I didn't call her Tweety Bird. I wouldn't, I mean, you shouldn't say that like that's yeah, outside the realm of possibility. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure at a point I might have been like, you're a little cutie Tweety. But like. I don't think I like thinking of it. I don't think I, I called her Tweety Bird. Nice. That's it. But how was she obsessed with Tweety Bird though? Just like super. Like, did you ever get super into like any character like that? What were you like obsessed with when you were younger? Like Power weird Rangers. shit. No, but like 
I'm, I'm talking about like the weird age, like middle middle school, where it's like you're doing weird. Pretending shit. I was a rapper. Pretending? Yeah. Just, I remember, <laughs> like fucking trying to rap. I remember when you uh, used to call things ghetto. Yep. As like a good thing. Yeah, that's yeah. mad ghetto. I'm like yo, that call is mad ghetto. I used to talk like and an idiot. And your sister lost it on you. I remember this vividly. Dude. Yeah. Well, go ahead. My sister, by the way. Anything that I did, she created the monster. Hundred hundred percent. Like I remember as clear as day before she seventh grade. She was the grade, most Colombian, Colombian of all she time. She was, she was, she was Damami. Yeah, you know, da one, da only, Damami. Da one, da only, too lovely, <laughs> and for you to envy. Was that it? I don't know. Uh, but before seventh grade, she like got my outfit. It was like a new thing of like it was like a white tee, a, like blue sweats. A fucking Yankee fit. And I remember as clear as day being in her room and she took the hat and she put it on me and she goes, wear it low and over one eye like Jay-Z. And I was like, oh. <laughs> she said that? Yeah. And oh I was like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, of course. I have to. Oh, well, like Hove. Yeah, like, like Hove. The Rock. Yeah. Not The, the Rock. rock. The, the oh. Rockefeller. Yeah, yeah. Um, But what, what do you remember her say when I said someone was ghetto? Uh, yeah, so I remember being in your house and like you were... In that phase where you were wearing like uh, polos that were like super long and they were like orange and yellow and then you'd wear the old Houston hat and like whatever, right? What's up? And uh, what's up? <laughs> you were just talking about something and you said something was ghetto. You're like, yo, that's, yeah, that's ghetto. But you were talking about it in a good way. Yeah. And Jessica just like lost her mind. She was like, what are you saying? Yeah. And you're like, what and and she's like what do you think that means and you were just and at that moment i could tell in your face that you knew like i fucked i, like, I, I don't know fu i fucked up so you were just like yo it's just whatever it's ghetto hold on i didn't speak like that uh, whatever I'm i didn't trying. have i didn't have the 2009 rapper joey voice <laughs> okay so you were just like it's ghetto and then and then she's like i forgot what she said but you also thought I, f I don't know, but like she, she, but then she just like was losing her mind, and she's like, "Don't say that, whatever." And then eventually, you guys were screaming at each other, and then you didn't say it anymore. Yeah, uh, my sister, uh, many points during our youth, would like beat the dog shit out of me. Nice, and needed that, needed that. I did. I remember one time my brother uh, literally left his room, came downstairs to yell at me because my away message was like going to Duh Park. And he's like, "What is Duh?" <laughs> and I was like, "What?" Do you remember when your brother? I was like, "It's easier." Do you remember when your brother grabbed me from across the table because I accidentally said fuck in your house and beat the shit out of me? It was like a vaguely. It was like a Saturday in like seventh grade. And we were sitting at the table and I think like I like I slept over and uh, we were having, you know, eggs, uh, you know, b bacon, snotty. And I accidentally <laughs> said fuck. And your brother, no question, like no hesitation. Reached across the table, grabbed me, and pulled me over, and like pinned me down. It was like, don't you fucking ever. That's so funny. Yeah, but I also remember there was one a time Thomas grabbed me by my head, mm -hmm. like a basketball, and lifted me up, and then banged my head off the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I he almost did that to me. I think. Yeah. Uh, there was a point where I would say, uh, <laughs> instead of like confirming something, saying yes or yeah. Oh God. I would say chup chup. Vaguely remember you telling me this. I, there was. Did you tell me this recently? I think I did. <laughs> chup yeah. chup. Because there was a girl. I remember there was at the time like, because you know, full. I I was never like fucking like. It was very rare that girls showed interest in me in like seventh. No, it's true. I always had like a girlfriend, but it was just like I stayed with that person. You yeah. paint this picture of no, yourself. No, I'm that's not. Just not. I'm true. not painting a picture. It's not like girls were like, oh my god, Frankie's cute. It was just like. If they did, I didn't fucking know about it. So it appeared to me <laughs> that no one like liked me. And I remember like Nobody liked me. Well, not like that. <laughs> but like I remember this girl being into me and I was like, yo, this is the ticket. Like, I just gotta like keep her around. Did you say this is the ticket? <laughs> you just said that like for real. This is the ticket? What are you, Oliver Twist? What the fuck are you saying? Yo, this is the ticket. <laughs> There's no Dixie D'Amelio and this is the ticket. I don't know who you are. What the fuck is going on? I remember. I am sweating right now. It's very hot. 
I remember being like, yo, I need to keep this girl around. So I needed to like act a little like, you know, like a little on the wild side. So I remember it was right when that song from Bow Wow came out, Fresh is on Miss. That's a great song. Yo, you, that was like your anthem. That, I remember that. That was a very good song. That song and uh, So Fresh, So Clean. That was your song. Boom, 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 chan, boom. It's still, it's still, a, it's one of my favorite songs of all time. Yep. Uh, chup, and, chup. And, exactly. <laughs> and I remember being like, I just need to like, I was, I remember being on the phone with her on my next tail. And just being like, yo, like, she'd be like, oh, do you want to like, you know, do you want me to call you in the morning? I was like, chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, what? She said what? She was like, what? And I was like, chop, chop. That means like, yeah. And she was like, I love that. I'm going to start using it. No, she didn't. I swear to God. <laughs> and I was like, from then on out, she would do it. And it kind of like killed it. Like, wait, so you guys were going back and forth, chopping each other, just chopping it up. You're like, yeah, chop. And she's like, chop, chop. Like she would just be like, chop, chop. And I'd be like, and I remember at the time being like, that's my girl. <laughs> I was a fucking eighth grade. What do you that's want my me girl. What do you want me to do? I was an idiot. Chop, chop. Yeah. I remember that so vividly. <laughs> Bro, that is fucking hilarious. Yeah. I, I said a lot of stupid shit like that's that. my girl. Yeah. You remember we would just walk around saying like Melfch? That's an actual like Moroccan. I know, but like we would say it would just be like Yeah, 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 I don't know. Just to be dumb. Yeah. Did you oh, you didn't say anything stupid like that? <laughs> I mean I definitely did. I just can't remember it. Right. I guess <laughs> I never had like a chup chup I'm, kind of thing. I'm cursed with good memory, I guess. <laughs> chup, yeah. That's my girl. That's the girl that broke up with me for you. Oh, here we go. She told me. Check her MySpace, and right in the tagline, it said, I'm leaving you for your... Or, I'm in love with your best friend. Which was the tagline? It was your picture. And then it was, like, the title. Right next... No. So, it was your name, oh, your that's picture, what... and then, like, right next to your picture. Mm. And then it was, like, underneath, it'd be, like, Queens, New York, age, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, she was in love with you. Okay. Do you know that one time in that box... mm mm-hmm. uh, My... What... Did you remember what yours says? Said... I I I can at the moment, but I'm afraid of what it could have said. Right. Put it like that. And I I remember f- like when Facebook when we like from MySpace to Facebook when mm-hmm. everyone made that transition. Mm-hmm. I remember at that time I had in like this little bio thing under your picture. You can write whatever you want, and I wrote. Here we go. What did I write? I wrote. He's realizing it was that's two super thi- embarrassing no, there was th- and he's not going to remember no, because it as I was going to say the first one, the sec- uh, second one popped into mind. One of them said, I wouldn't buy a bitch a chocolate milk. Gotcha. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> it was a line from a tube steak video. A which who? Tube steak. If, if no one knows tube steak, fucking YouTube that. It's fucking hilarious. It's one of the funniest fucking things in the world. Okay. Um, but it's like a fake battle rapper, like, and he's just like talking shit into a camera and like... <laughs> Just whatever it says. I'm sure. Okay. Um, and the other one was, because um, you know how you say like "fuck bitches get money." Mm-hmm. I said "fuck money get bitches." Yeah. Because my mom buys all of my shit anyway. Because at the time I was like quite topical. It's pretty funny. I was like 14. You were. Yeah. Those didn't last long. Once my brother saw them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your brother was like the internet police in your house, and my sister. Well, mostly they would just bully and shame me into being a normal human and not saying things like that. Oh, okay. So a lot of who I am, I can, att- you know, thank God for that. No one told on me, thank God, except for my brothers once accidentally, like, revealing, like, I remember, because um, we had the one computer room. Yeah. And I remember being in there and being online, and my brothers were like, what are you doing? And I was like, shut up. And it's, I, I forgot what it was, but, like, I think in, like, I, I, like, brought up, oh, there was a fucking creepy creepazoid that lived near us named Arresty, and he said, he was like, oh... Uh, people online they do cyber, cyber sex. Oh yeah, yeah. And I remember, and my brothers were like, "What are you doing?" I was, and I was like, "Oh, cyber." You know, like not serious, but like joking around. And then they had like a like a news thing on in the living room, and it was like the new t- the new craze that could be predatory on teens, cyber. And my brothers both were like, "Oh, Frankie does that." And I was like, oh, "No, no, no, I don't." And your mom, my mom barked at me, dude. My mom barked at me like "Happy birthday!" Like yeah, she yeah. barks a lot, uh, but she was particularly in that moment upset with me. That is so funny. Cyber, cyber sex. Yeah. It sounds way cooler than sexting. It it a lot cooler. What'd you do last night? I had cyber sex. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Did you have sex on like with Wi-Fi? 
the fuck? Basically, you you put your dick in the exhaust. In the exhaust. Was, <laughs> the router. Car. That's a car. That's it. That's the router. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think we can end it here, right? <laughs> you're just trying to get out of here because you're fucking steaming right now. Yeah, I actually, like, cooled down a little bit. Really? Glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> Very hot. Betty Hall. <laughs> Ask me, like, any yes or no question. Okay. Um... Do you love me? Chup, chup. Yeah. <laughs> I needed to chup. You need, you, need, you. you need to chup on out. Where can they find you? Chup F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter and on Twitch. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Go check me out on those. <laughs> so the metasexual. Uh, you can follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on uh, Instagram and TikTok. And uh, chup, chup. And also the patrons. We appreciate you guys. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You get every episode a week early and an extra episode every single week and yeah and your butt being creamed is on there yes and uh we're creeping toward 8500 where we do a power hour episode yes gonna be v drunk make sure you eat for that one that one i'm gonna be eating for. you're gonna have to because that would be a mistake we should also like as we're drinking get like mozzarella sticks yeah dude (sighs) Chup, yes. chup, 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 chup. <laughs> oh, oh man! All right, we'll see you guys next time. Later. <laughs> what did you just say? Later. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm still recording. Why? Later. <laughs> yeah. Why is that bad? I don't know. Later.